Yay! Yeah. Wait for it. Yay! Yeah. Sir, what is good, everybody? You already know who it is. Miguel here back with another video. So if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button. Please like, comment, and share. YouTube's algorithm right now is all fucked up. Yep, I'm going to say it. It's all jacked up right now, and I don't care. Me being a small YouTuber, I ain't getting no views. I ain't getting nothing. So if you guys like, comment, they'll they'll pick they'll pick up the uh, YouTube will pick up the algorithm. Anyway, guys, today's going to be... I'm like, I'm hyped up. This is probably the most energy I've ever brought to this channel because... Um, the last few days I've been dealing with an issue. Okay. Corsair, my Corsair Capalix H150i XT Elite LCD screen messed up. Literally just bought it with my own money three days ago, three day or three days ago, three months ago, um, three, 300, about $320, the most expensive cooler probably on the market right now. Um, so it's, it's just crazy. And I've all, I love Corsair as a company. I love Corsair. I've never had the last six years of being a PC builder. I've never had a computer part go out on me. Never. So this, it just, my, my work computer's down. Um, I had to go buy an air cooler, all that, blah, 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 just to get it up and going. At. Anyway, so we're going to talk about the return process, how it went, all that. So let's just jump right into the video. Stay tuned till the end. Okay. To start the video off. I know my office right now, This it's a mess. It's a math scientist area right now because I've been, oh, I've been having issues. I'm in the progress of doing a video for you guys of um, having your GPU vertically and horizontally mounted gaming, all that stuff. And my cooler went out. So it's been an issue trying to finish that video. So yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this call out Corsair because I've read thousands of other comments from people on Reddit, on uh, Facebook too, that Corsair, that they've been trash. And that, uh, all right, sorry, my battery died. But anyway, guys, yeah, so I've read thousands of comments. Let me shut my door, hold on, because my fiance is coming and I don't want her to hear. So I've read thousands of other comments of people having the same issues. They're like, update your, um, update your IQ, update the commander core, update the, so I did everything. It shows a little red, you know what? Let me just show you. All right, no, it ain't even showing it no more. It's kind of weird. Let me see if it does anything. Let me turn it on. It's going to pop on. The screen's going to pop on. It keeps overheating and then it'll just shut off. I have all my case fans off or all my um, panels off. So it's going to be loud. And then I have all those fans out. So, so anyway, it would have a fan on it, a red fan with the exclamation point, And then all the redness, right? It would just start blinking red like that. And then the fans right here would all be red. And then my, um, it would just, my CPU would get really, really hot. And then would just, all the fans would ramp up and then it would just shut off. Right now, I got the Hyper 212 Evo on my CPU, so it's probably not going to do that. I had to get this. It's a cheap option, 50 bucks, Best Buy, local store, so I can get my computer back up and running. But anyway, yeah, so that's my issue with it. I, I've done everything, and I think the pump is bad. I think I literally think the pump went out. That's what that little thing is. So, see, it's booting up now. It's fine. Blah, blah, blah. So, that's my issue with that. So, all right. Let me um, turn my camera around and I will show you guys, ex I'll tell you guys my experience with them. Okay, so I started off, I've never had an RMA product ever in my life, like I told you at the beginning of the video. Okay, so I started emailing, I put in a ticket, going back and forth. I can't even say back and forth because it was just a one-way street. It was just me um, messaging or emailing Corsair themselves. Um, so three days passed, it took three days for me to get a response. And eight emails later, I had to tell them, look, I don't want to give you guys a bad review. I've, I've had good experiences in the past with you guys' products. And I, then I let them know, you know, like I've never had this issue though. I had a Lee and Lee Galahad that, that's still going, that's going good, that I just recently sold. Um, that And, and again, an and all-in-one cooler has never went out on me. And I've told them, I don't want to give you guys a bad review. Um, there's thousands of other people that are having the same issue. So I know you guys know the problem and you guys ain't addressing it. So you guys, this pumps are failing. Whatever, for some, whatever reason, there's parts failing on this all-in-one cooler. So you guys need to address it. Quit trying to push out the products that you guys have and just recall all the or um, stop shipment or stop selling those and fix them. So again, it was a three day cat and mouse chase with Corsair to get it. And now that's not even that's not even the freaking thing. Um, they're they're asking for me to pay for shipping to send it back to them. It's like, so now I got to box up everything. You guys just, you guys are Corsair. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. Corsair is being so cheap right now. They want you to box it up. Even though it's broken, they want you to box it up, pay out of your pocket, your own money. After you already paid over $300 for the cooler, 
send it back to them, wait another week for them to process it, all that, and then send you a, re a refurbished one. Not even a brand new one, a refurbished one. So let's see if that works. But anyway, guys, this made me switch to air cooling. The whole six years of me building, I've never dealt with air cooling. And I'm getting, if same temps, is it echoing? Hey, it's echoing in here. I, I'm getting same temps. I got to really put my things back up for the sound. Same temps as the with the air cooler. The Hyper 212s, I, I'm seeing why all the hype's around it and why it got such good reviews and why thousands and thousands of people keep still keep buying this um, a CPU cooler. It's a, it's a decent cooler. I um, ordered the Deep Cool AK500 White Edition because as you guys can see right here, it, the black, I, I don't like that. So it's probably just going to sit there or I'm probably going to do a giveaway or something like that. So yeah. So anyway, guys, I am switching to air cooling. I was, I've been, I was always so against air cooling. I was like, it's loud. It doesn't work as much. It doesn't, it doesn't. I overclocked my 7700X. I can't even say overclocked. I was getting like close to five gigahertz easily um, with the fans ramped up to like 70% on a Hyper 212 Evo. And we got, and you guys know the 7700X is run very hot. So this AK500 by Deep Cool is going to be so much better. I'm going to show you guys um, at the end how it turns out and all that good stuff. So at the end of this video, watch the end of this video. I'm going to do comparisons of the the cooler because i have pictures and video footage of the cooler how it was performing in game before and then compared to the air cooling and then i'm going to do the hyper 212 evo against the deep cool um ak500 so just stay tuned i'm going to throw that in a, a little at the end and anyway so Corsair, you got to get your shit together. Like, for real. You guys are a million-dollar company, and you guys are being tight asses, and I'm just going to throw that out there. So, yeah, let's 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 finish off this video. All right, guys, so we're back. And as you guys, guys can see, I have the Hyper 212 um, Evo, the Star RGB Black Edition. So this is the $50 one by Cooler Master. So right here you can see my idle temps are around 58, 56, sometimes shoot up to 60. I really don't have nothing. Oh, well, the 53 made me a liar. Okay, so this is with the manual tuning on Ryzen Master. I went in and put my voltage down to right there and then all cores at 4.5. So I you go apply that because my temperature was hitting 70. That is crazy. It went down to 45. It's just dropping now. So Ryzen is a trip. All right, so once we cleared off there, oh, 43. All right, so we're idling at 43 right now. All right, let me let me keep Ryzen Master open. I'm gonna keep it open for you guys. Um, go in, load a game, and then my temperatures. Da, 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 da. Keep my temps right there. Let me get load up my graphics. I'm gonna load up a game and show you guys the temps of the Hyper 212 Evo on a 7700X right now. So I'll put those up to there. No overclock on the GPU. Let's load up a game and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gaming on the Neo G8, the 4K screen by Samsung, but I am gonna drop the resolution to 2560 by 1600, so it could be a little bit more on the CPU. 4K is all the way, pretty much GPU. So we're just gonna do that. Let's start the game right now. I don't know why I kicked my thing down right there because I changed the resolution. So my temps are already going up over 50. Start kicking the temperature and once we start playing. 54. All right, so I bumped the resolution up to 4K and we're still staying below 60. It's not bad. So I wonder how I would do if I do it down to 1080p. But there you go. You guys have it. The Hyper 212 is keeping it under 60 degrees. It's not bad. So let's uh, throw the deep cool. Um, AK 500 on there and let's mess up. I'm gonna mess around with some 1080p before I do that. Let's see real quick All right guys, so lowering the resolution didn't really do too much. I seen a spike up to 61. So 
I don't know. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Maybe the Hyperture 12 is just actually doing a decent job with the 7700X. So let's go ahead and throw the um, Hyper, I mean the Hyper. Let's go ahead and throw the Deep Cool on there and see how it goes. All right, guys. So back here in between putting on the coolers, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of differences here. Obviously, you can see how much thicker the Deep Cool is. And honestly, I think it looks so much better. But anyway, I'm not here to tell you how I like it right now that'll be at the end of this but anyway you can see the deep cool is it's a flat plate it doesn't have the grooves like um the cooler master the cooler master is not that bad but it still has the grooves um another thing is the cooler master only has four uh heat pipes the deep cool has five and just i don't know i think and then the way the um deep cool mounts on it it's pushed over towards your motherboard your motherboard vrms and heat sinks instead of being pushed over the ram you guys can see how it's like angled like that which is pretty cool and the cooler master just comes flat out straight out like that so yeah so that's probably why one of the reasons i'm thinking that this is gonna do a lot better so the fin density and the has one more heating pipe so let's get this bad boy on there and like I said, look how beautiful this looks. Oh my God, it's gonna look so good. All right, let's go. Okay, just so you guys can see, this is the AM5 mounting bracket for the deep cool. And so far it's not that hard to put on. So now what you do is you grab your cooler and it has these little things, one on each side, and then you put it in and then it just... So got it on. It wasn't that bad, but a couple things that I don't know. It looks, I think it looks like you're putting a big block V8 on a Chevy or something. It looks, it looks nice. The white definitely looks way better than the black, the all white, but it looks good right now. Okay. You know, on the last one, how I went in and undervolted it. It's, this is without me undervolting it. That's on 37 guys. That's my fans ain't even ramped up or nothing. So I want to see something. I want to run the game like this. Actually, let me. The fans are gonna change right now because, all right, there we go. They're gonna ramp up just a little bit. Temperature went up a little bit. That's because it always does when I open the application. Um, let me see. Let's turn up my graphics card a little bit, the fans. All right, we're gonna load a game, leave it like this on stock settings, and then we're gonna go under Volta and see the difference. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so one thing I forgot to mention, and one thing I forgot to do, right now you can see it's a mess. Everything's all like literally workbench status. I put the glass panels on both sides back on. When I had the Hyper 212 on there, it was open. So basically it was just an open case. So that's kind of unfair. So we're just gonna do, I'm still gonna go ahead and um, it's on 4k we're gonna go ahead and run a game with it closed and then i'll s we'll check back in and we'll see but then i'm gonna take it off because that's unfair you can't close it off and then compare it to an open case so let's go ahead and see where it's at right now it's at 77 oh 63 it's dropping wow it's actually really dropping that's not too bad but we'll wait till we jump in game and i'll Try back in at the end of the match when it's at its hottest point. All right, so I just got out of game 62. It says, seems like it settles down around 70. It, it fluctuates when you're 4K gaming. So this is without the limiter on. Let me go real quick to Ryzen Master. You guys can see what I'm going to do real quick. I'll go to, oh wait, Ryzen Master already on. Duh. Um, let me go in real quick to creator mode, manual, apply. What? It's never had a restart before. What the heck? Why is it doing that all of a sudden? Oh my god. Alright, well, to be continued. So, I don't know why Ryzen Master had a restart. It's never done that when I applied my profile. So, ugh, it just kind of pissed me off. But anyway, we applied the profile. Um, I decided to run a little benchmark. So, let's just see how this goes. See how hot it gets. The heck? Did you guys see that? It was like a glitch or something. 
It's hitting 75 right now, but this is, I put it on 1080p high, so it's not in 4K. So the fans are high. Yeah, the fans are probably, I think they're on 100%. But it's a trip because the Hyper 212, the Hyper 212 Evo seems to be doing a little better than this. Like, is my doing something wrong? Because this should be performing way better than the 212 Evo. I don't know. That's a trip. Is it making good contact? Yeah, making good contact, everything, so... I do not know. But anyway, there you go. That's a little bit of testing, just to throw it out there. Um, I'm going to mess around a little bit more. Like I said, as this should be doing a lot better. More heat pipes, bigger fin density. I just, I don't get it. Maybe it's that thermal paste I had that's old on there, so... Yeah, but I'm not going to mess around with it no more. You guys got a kind of got a little bit of a hint uh, between the two air coolers. Um, I'm still kind of up in the air about the deep cool. The deep, the deep cool should be performing way better than this. I don't know what is going on there. Oh, again, you know what? Before I close this video out, let's do this. I said I was gonna do without that. I can't. That's not fair. Let's take off the panel. Let's see if the, um, let's just give it a second. Bear with me. Yep, there it is. Holy shit, guys. Okay, taking off the panel. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. Let me see. Let me turn my camera around. Taking off the panel, dropped it like 15 degrees. Holy shit. Okay, so now we're at 60, 61, and this is extreme. This is full load. So I kind of want to go back into gaming. Let's, let, I'm not going to end the video right there. Give me one more minute. Let's go. Okay, so in game guys, 66 degrees. This is with the side panel off. So yeah, great temps. And there you have it. I knew this was gonna beat out the Hyper 212 Evo. It's beating it by like five, six degrees, but still it's dropping down to like 60. So sometimes 10 degrees. So there you have it guys. The deep cool AK500 white edition beating out the Hyper 212 Evo. So yeah, and plus it looks so sexy in my build. So. All right, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. We are almost to a thousand subscribers, and please, please, please subscribe. I don't ask that much of you guys. Um, I am going to be announcing the two earphone giveaways winners over the weekend. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget, make you got to be subscribed, comment, and you got to um, like one of my videos. So yeah, um, do that. That's for the headphones. But anyway. Um, let me know what you guys think about these two air coolers. If you're an air cooler or you like uh, water cool. Um, personally, I like I last six years water cool, but I started to like air cooling. There's less um, points for failure, and it just yeah. So if you guys like the shouts I did for my babe. We're getting her excited. The office fixed up. You guys serious shouts, but yeah. Anyway, guys, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the two coolers. If you guys are water, if you guys are air. So as always, live, laugh, love. Never hit on success. I am tired. I'm done with this video. We out. Peace.